Welcome back, slide roll fans. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain um, the basic use of the CI scale. Um, most basic slide rolls will have the CI scale. Again, we're looking at a basic type slide roll. Uh, so most that you'll find um, available uh, have the scales on this slide roll. Uh, CI is one of them. You'll notice CI here is in red. Um, some slide rolls have the standard that if a sl uh, scale is in red, then uh, the numbers decrease as you go to the right instead of increase. Um, this is not true on all slide rolls, but in many slide rolls, if you see a red scale, uh, the numbers are decreasing as you go to the right, as you see on the CI scale. There are essentially two um, uses of the CI scale on the basic slide rule. One is for computing uh, inverses or reciprocals. So, multiplicative inverses. Um, second use is a, a better way to do a multiplication which avoids the off-scale problem that we saw in the last video. Uh, let's see how we could do this. Uh, first, let's look at inverses. Um, so the C and the CI scale um, or if you align everything, uh, the CI and the D also. Uh, but let's look at just the C and the CI scale. Uh, these read uh, reciprocals of each other. So if I uh, look at the C scale and I find the 4 uh, with the cursor, then on the CI, the red scale above it, you'll see it reads, here's the 2 right under the glass here, uh, 2.5. Uh, when you're reading inverses in this way, you need to move the decimal point, uh, so you interpret 2.5 as 0.25, um, and we know that that's the same as 1 over 4, right, that's 1 over 4, uh, the reciprocal of 4 um, as a decimal number. Um, another example, uh, so you see I, I had 4 on the C scale, 2.5 on the CI scale, um, you, you also see um, if you were to find 4 on the CI scale, you will also see uh, 2.5 on the C scale. We know uh, the reciprocal of the reciprocal is the original number, so it doesn't matter which scale you start with here. Um, another example could be 2 and 0 0.5, so if I found 2 on the C scale, I would see 5, which I interpret as 0 0.5 on the CI scale, um, or if I found 5 on the C scale, I would see 2, uh, which I would interpret as 0.2 on the CI scale, um, if I was starting with 5. So again, you, the, the, the operator needs to know what they're doing here to get the correct answer, right? Because uh, the 2, 0 0.5, here if I, if I start with the 5, maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of the relationship 5 uh, as inverse relationship with 0 0.2, 1 over 5, right? Um, that's reading the same numbers on the scales as the 2 and the 0 0.5, right? Um, okay, so uh, operator beware. Um, now, how does this work? Uh, so let's see, what if, what if I want to compute log of 1 over 4? I know from the log rules this should be log of 1 minus log of 4. Uh, log of 1 is 0. Uh, another way to think of this is that log of 1 over 4 um, is the same as log of 4 to the minus 1, and in both cases you see that I get minus uh, log of 4, because uh, we have another log rule that that exponent could come outside. Um, and from this relationship you, you see that the CI scale, uh, the scale that you want for computing inverses, uh, should run in reverse, right? Uh, what it should show is minus log of 4, uh, so in other words the CI scale should measure things in reverse, and you see it does. Uh, you see actually that the CI scale is exactly a reversed C scale. Um, so you see here the distances are greater on the right, and the distance from 1 to 2 here is the same as the distance from 1 to 2 here on the C scale. The distance from 1 to 3 running in reverse on the CI scale is the same as the distance from 1 to 3 running forward on the C scale. So the CI scale exactly uh, runs in reverse of the C scale. On some slide rules you will see a DI scale, which um, is essentially the same as the CI scale, uh, running in reverse of the D scale. Um, lots of times the D scale or, or the DI will be on the base and the C and the CI will be on the slide, but um, it's hard to give general rules. There's a lot of variations on slide rules. Um, okay, so that's why it is the way that it is. Um, 
But there is a bonus property that you get here. Uh, one way to think of how this bonus property works is that um, uh, multiplying by the reciprocal is uh, the same as dividing, or dividing by the reciprocal is the same as multiplying. Uh, so remember this problem from the first video where I took uh, the distance from 1 to 4 on the d scale and I wanted to multiply, so, so I found that 4, then I, then I aligned the index, and then I wanted to come to 6 on the c scale, so it was way here off scale. Um, and I fixed that by reversing, uh, reversing it and look, using the other index because the indices should be the same. That's hard to slide here. Uh, okay. And then finding the 6 here and reading the result 2.4 or 24. Uh, the problem is that that was a lot of work and you don't want to reset the slide if you don't have to um, when, you don't, when you realize that you used the wrong index and you should have used the other one to avoid going off scale. Uh, so you can use the CI scale to avoid this. Um, so let's try. Uh, what I'm going to do is find the 4 and I'm going to align the 4 with the 6 not on the C scale uh, but with the 6 on the CI scale. Now you need to be careful the CI scale runs in reverse, uh, especially when you're trying to to use the tick marks in between numbers. You need to remember that the CI scale is running in reverse. That's often why it's red, uh, to remind you of that. Um, but then, I'm doing this kind of like division. I align the two numbers, except I use the CI scale. Then on the CI scale, I'm going to find the index. And I see the result, the correct result, 2.4, which I uh, will interpret as 24, um, on the D scale. Uh, so I've used it kind of like I use the C scale for um, division. I use the CI scale for multiplication, um, aligning the two numbers that I want to do, um, 4 and the 6. Uh, now the reason this works is because dividing uh, by the reciprocal is the same as multiplying. Another way to think of it is, um, if you come back to the, the 4, what I want to do, uh, multiplying, is to go from 4 um, to 6. But you see, if you look at the CI scale, see here 1 and 6. See the di distance from 1 to 6 on the CI scale is this. So the result should be here, distance from 1 to 6. Um, but that 1 is the same as this one, right? So the result is there. The advantage is that since you're, you're doing the use the same way that you do division with the C scale, um, in other words, aligning the two numbers and not aligning the one number with the index, you'll always have one of the indices on scale. Uh, so let's practice this. Um, so if I find 7.3, I want to do a multiplication and I want to be sure that I'm not going to go off scale and have to reset the slide. So I set 7.3 there. Then I find 3.6 on the CI scale. Okay. Now. I'm remembering that the CI scale is running backwards. So you see here, here is 3.5, so 3.6 is to the left because uh, the scale runs backwards. Um, so I align the two numbers, then find the index. Either this index or the right index will be on scale. Uh, then I'm going to read the result there. Uh, 2, 6, and a little. When I did this before, I estimated that third digit to be about a 3, so 2, 6, 3. But now remember, in all these calculations, you need to set the decimal. I'm going to set it there, 26.3, because again, estimating 7 times 3, 21. So this, the correct order of magnitude should put this at 26.3. Um, so there's how to use the CI scale to avoid um, an off-scale multiplication. Now, let's uh, do a little review. Uh, how to do multiplication and division avoiding off scale. Okay, so from the, the previous video, uh, we did division, the first video in the series. Um, so the way that we did it is we found the first number on the D scale, then I aligned that with the second number on the C scale, I found the index of the C scale, read the result on the D scale, then placed the decimal point. Uh, the new technique, on the right here we see the new technique, which is very similar to that technique, but for multiplication is to use the CI scale. How do you do it? Find the first number on the D scale, find the second number on the CI scale instead of the C scale, find the index of the CI scale, either the right or the left index will be on scale, uh, read the result on the D scale, and then using estimation place a decimal point. Okay, give it a little practice and good luck.